What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Amanda. Thank you so much to my returning subscribers and to those of you who are new watching. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and make sure y'all all got your post notifications turned on. So today's video is going to be um, a nighttime routine that I do with AJ, who um, is five months now. So I just figured I'll show y'all, you know, what we do to get ready for bed. And so he is not sleeping through like the entire night yet. Um, but we got to a good point where we not like waking up all the time, you know, in the middle of the night, like every three hours and whatnot. He'll sleep like um, a five hour chunk and then he'll do a three hour chunk. So like he'll sleep from nine to three and then shoot, actually now he's been starting to do nine to three and then like three to seven or eight. So hoping he stick to that okay guys so it's about eight o'clock right now and we're doing tummy time which he tolerates very well um i normally do about 10 minutes down there playing with him myself and then i'll just leave him down there until he tells me he's ready to get up and whatnot and you just saw right here i was practicing some reaching and grabbing with him so he can you know get used to those skills and now I'm over here um, just trying to strengthen his core muscles to help him with his rolling over because that's what you need to be able to, you know, lift those legs up and roll over, which you can see he's trying to do. Um, he does it every night in his bed for some reason and not <laughs> when he's up and awake. So we're just over there practicing that because mommy want him rolling over. And now you see I got to get all them kisses in when we're done. All right, so now it's bath time, y'all. You can see I'm over here just running his bath. And I don't do bath time every night, but on those nights when I don't, then I usually try to give him a little wipe down because we know how we feel when we jump out that shower and into them sheets it just does something like you just feel extra good and sleep extra good and don't let the sheets be fresh out the dryer <laughs> okay but don't let me get started on that so you can see he do not like it his face wiped but at least you know he tolerates it and don't do all that crying and lets me do it you know and I'm using the Aveeno baby wash on him um, and lavender scent. I really like it. Um, I'm actually all out of it now though. And I just moved on to the Dove baby wash and lavender, which smells so good. And I really like that too. And Dove is always bomb. So I'm about to just stick with that brand. But what brand do y'all use on y'all babies? And okay, so after I bathed him, of course, I washed his hair. So this is just me rinsing the shampoo out. And he's just sitting there eating his little fingers. And now you see I'm over here trying to wrap him up in this blanket. I mean, not blanket. In his towel so he all nice and warm after his bath. But he don't like being wrapped up at all. Oh, look at that little cheek. Look at that face, y'all. And then I just put on his robe before we leave out of the bathroom. So he'll be extra warm and cozy until we get in the room. Okay, so of course, mommy got to get in some more kisses. Because look at that cute, chunky, adorable face. And that chunky little body and that cute little robe. Um, but okay, y'all. So now I'm just lotioning his whole body down with the Aveeno Baby Lotion. And then I go in and do his hair. Um, I think this product I was using was the Maui um, Curl Cream. But I'm actually about to switch over to the Dove baby hair products because like I said, Dove is bomb. So, and I forgot what I saw in it, but it had like all the, you know, all the ingredients you want in hair products. So I'm about to switch over to that for him because we want that hair growing and flourishing. And now we over here putting on his little pajamas. y'all can see he hates stuff going over his head but i mean what baby have you come across that actually does like stuff being pulled over their head and all 
well dressed. Do you guys like my pajamas? See, do you guys like my pajamas? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now right here, y'all can just see me making his bottle. Um, it's only about four ounces. He normally drinks five, but I only did four since I'm going to put the oatmeal cereal in there. I just put it um, little by little in there and stir it up until I get the desired consistency that I want of it. It was pretty cranky while he was drinking his bottle, so I just was checking the nipple to make sure he was actually getting the cereal out. Since it's thicker, we had to make the hole bigger, but he wasn't really feeling it. We ended up just making him a regular bottle, and as you can see, he's almost done. He took that thing down. So we're just going to stick to feeding him the oatmeal in a bowl with a spoon. Um, y'all leave a comment below. Did y'all babies eat their oatmeal through their bottle or did you have to feed it to him? Because AJ wasn't feeling it. Now my <laughs> baby is out for the count. I'm laying him down and we've reached the end of our bedtime routine. So now your girl done got herself a bowl of cereal while I watch some TV. I love some cereal. <laughs> um, right now, everybody is knocked out. So I'm just going to have some me time. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll catch you next time.